Afghanistan, where troops are right now carrying out what we're told are fierce new offensives against the Taliban. These are the first operations since President Obama's war address, but military officials stress it really has nothing to do with next year's troop increase. It's all happening in southern Afghanistan, in the heart of the fighting, in the Helmand province. Fox News confirms that a thousand U.S. Marines and Afghan troops are targeting Taliban strongholds there. Reports indicate several Taliban insurgents have been killed. Our national correspondent, Steve Santani at the Pentagon. Now, what else do we know about this offensive, Steve? Well, the Marines dropped in in the early morning hours using helicopters and the V-22 Osprey behind enemy lines and caught the Taliban by surprise. They came from the north, the direction the Taliban weren't expecting, and so they were caught by surprise. The Marines now going uh, from door to door trying to clear the area, find anybody, anything that they think they ought to clear out, and they have found a couple of caches of weapons and 400 pounds of ammonium nitrate fertilizer, which could be used as an explosive and is often used as an explosive to build those IEDs that are attacking uh, U.S. and NATO troops all over Afghanistan. So uh, we're told that the operation has gotten off to a successful start. There have been a few casualties on the Taliban side, but none on the American side so far. The Taliban yep. basically control this particular area. And I'm curious right. if there's anything significant about the type of equipment and weapons that Marines are using in this particular fight. Well, there is one thing to note. The B-22 Osprey, which is uh, an aircraft the Marine, Marines are operating, they used it in uh, Iraq, they're using it in Afghanistan now. This is the first time it's been involved in such a long, complex operation with wave after wave of plane going in, delivering Marines behind enemy lines. And uh, the spokesman I talked to in Helmand province said the plane is performing beautifully. Of course, this, for those who don't know, this is the plane that can fly horizontally, just like a fixed wing plane and land on a regular airstrip, or it can take off and land vertically like a helicopter so you can get there fast and then land someplace where you don't necessarily have a good landing zone or a good airstrip and apparently that plane performing well. Shep? Good to hear. Steve Santani at the Pentagon this hour. Steve, thanks. Next door in nuclear-armed Pakistan where the trouble really is. Dozens are said to be dead after suicide attackers blew up a mosque as people prayed. It happened near Pakistan's military headquarters outside Islamabad. We're told militants stormed that mosque, threw grenades and shot off their guns before they blew themselves up. At least 36 people are reported dead, including six army officers and three soldiers. Insurgents have now officially killed more than 400 people in Pakistan since October.